Welcome, folks. Today, we are going to Sacramento from where we're at right now. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter where we're going. So let's do that whole thing again, because I don't need to tell you that we're going to Sacramento. That doesn't matter. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Today, we are driving this car from our camp all the way down to another spot in California. And I'm gonna capture some beautiful B-roll because it's foggy today and I love the fog. Actually, the truth is I'm already at our destination. We're in Sacramento, but I didn't film an intro yesterday before we left and I captured all this beautiful, like foggy, coastal redwood, beautiful B-roll. It's actually not that good because it's filmed with my phone on our dashboard, but still, I'm gonna put that to music and that's gonna be like the intro. And then we're gonna then we're gonna film more today. I don't know what this show is about, but I know it's gonna be really awesome. <sighs> Car's still not fixed, so so that's cool. Was that good looking B-roll or what? It was okay, like for, I mean, I just had my camera mounted to this and just filmed stuff. So for what it was, it was, it was a gorgeous drive, I'll tell you that much. So now we're at Starbucks. You know, it's honestly kind of cool because when you're in the, when you're in the elevator, you see this is not like the event. He talks right so much. Yeah. And then like when it actually happens, it's kind Nobody of Nobody knows what you're talking about. So, if you're ever in a fire, if you're ever in a fire, more <laughs> If you're ever in a fire, I didn't have anything else to say after that. But that was a good laugh. That was a good hearty laugh. If you laugh like that in front of somebody, like, like at a party, they'll, two things will happen. One, they're gonna think like, this guy's insane. Or two, they'll laugh with you and they'll think, that guy's funny. Like, so you could try it at a party next time. Try it. <laughs> but no, that's weird. Do it longer. Why? Longer, louder. <laughs> like that. It's all about getting to the point like where you can't even laugh anymore, where it's just, Air is being pressed out of your body from the laugh. That's when you know it's a good laugh. <laughs> and keep that going. You know, that's the trick. So you try it. Yeah. <laughs> when I do, it sounds like an old man when he tries to laugh, but then he starts coughing. What do I sound like? Um, you sound like 
Well, you look like your eye just got poked out, and you're trying to laugh, but you're in excruciating pain. So it's not working. Huh. That eye does hurt. Two, one, go. Mm, wrong way. You did it upside down. <laughs> We have coffee. <sighs> well, now we're going to. Uh, not great. So now we're going to uh, go see Star Wars. So that'll be pretty awesome. Am I looking at you? I'm looking at myself, but I'm not. This is the camera that I'm looking at. Right there. That's the lens, and this is me. Which one looks like I'm looking? What? Never mind. Star Wars Day! Sing the Star Wars song, Z. Who is this girl that's here? Who are you? I did a science experience. A science experience? Yeah. What is that? It looks like Kool-Aid. It's number two. Dun, dun, dun. What are you doing? What? So, show me your festive sweater. Whoa, and awesome. Then, and then, oh. Whoa, more festiveness. <laughs> Cats? We don't approve of cats. All right, well, Star Wars is coming. We got some good stuff planned today. You know, this is like, this is the thumbnail. It's not a good thumbnail. got evacuated. Woo, it's cold out there. We just had to, oh gosh, uh, just had to get evacuated from our hotel building. And we walked out and it actually did smell like smoke and we thought we saw smoke. And so we left and so did everybody else. So our building was cleared out and then we left and went outside and realized that every other hotel around us was also cleared out. And uh, so it seems like something happened with the alarms in this whole area. We're in this like shared parking lot with three different hotels that probably all share the same alarm system of some, you know what I mean? Like it's probably the same company because there was an alarm system company out here. So it looks like maybe, maybe there was just a mistake. Somebody screwed up and set the alarm and there actually is no fire it would seem. But until we get the all clear from the fire department, everyone's just outside hanging out. Another fire truck. Man, they're quick. I mean, the alarm was set off like, I don't know, two minutes ago and there's already like three or four fire trucks here. First responders are amazing. Why are you doing? Nothing, nothing at all. What are you doing? So we were all in our hotel room and the alarms went off. And we, I thought maybe it was just an alarm in our room or you know, I didn't think much of it because alarms get triggered and set. And so, uh, you know, I kind of got the kids rounded up a bit just in case and then peeked outside our room to see if there was any smoke or anything. This guy comes bolting up the stairs. He's like, we have to get out. We have to get out right now. So then I was like, okay. And I sent the kids down. Danielle was in the bathroom. She had just taken a shower. So I started banging on the door and, uh, she was like, hold on, I have to do my hair. I did that, I said I have to get clothes on. <laughs> so, priorities. <laughs> so she got dressed quickly and uh, and we went downstairs. Now the police is here, it's so cool. Yeah. These guys are on top of it. And I'll tell you, we've got some, the police and fire department around here, they are like fit. You know, sometimes you see these guys and you're like, Huh. You could outrun them. You could outrun them, but man, these guys are like on top of it. Go left. So, uh, yeah. So we came outside and there's like a couple of fire trucks and everyone's evacuated from our building, the building across the street, and the building next to us. So at that point I figured, oh, it's just, you know, an alarm got triggered or something somehow. And it turned out to be a gas leak that took place downtown, which is quite a ways from here, and is moving its way all the way up into El Dorado County, which is a long ways away. Oh, so right. must be a ginormous gas leak. So just a big gas leak. And I think all of the uh, 
hotels, it sounds like, pulled the fire alarms just to get everyone out because when we went into the hallways, it was strong. very yeah, strong yeah. smell of something. Like, we assumed it was smoke when we first smelt it. Of course, it turned out not to be, but... Who was right? Well, ah, we made it back to the hotel. Ha! Ah. And the light is bad. That's worse. You never know what a day is going to have in store for it. Could be that you get evacuated from your hotel room. Could be that somebody drives into your car with a trailer or something far worse. I think the important lesson here is to always be in a place of feeling prepared. That's not the lesson because you can never be prepared. I think the lesson is we're watching Turner and Hooch and Z's not happy with the ending. Do you want to kill us? Yo! You have this fear? 